Hygienic Ingenious Supplies. Tonight on Game Night, Dave, Aaron, Lincoln, and Nikki are going to teach and play Marvel Dice Throne, a game for two to six players by Nate Chatelier, Manny Tremblay, and Gavin Brown. It's published by The Op Games and Roxley, and if you've ever played Yahtzee, you might recognize some of the dice things that you'll make full houses and pairs and five of a kind out of but now it's got superheroes and punching in it so come on with us and let's see who wins hey Aaron hey Lincoln will you teach us Marvel Dice Throne I will teach you Marvel Dice Throne Marvel Dice Throne is like Yahtzee with punching okay let's go <laughs> it is a little bit like a competitive Yahtzee with damage and dice rolls um, we are playing obviously heroes and villains in the Marvel Universe and uh, you can play this with two, three, or four players right now. Uh, in four players, as we are doing, it is a two versus two team game. So one versus one, you just fight your opponent until one of you has zero health left. Three players, it's a free for all where you can all attack each other. And uh, in four players, you're in teams. So we have Loki and the Scarlet Witch versus Spider-Man and Thor as a team and we each have just one team health dial, and whichever team's health dial reaches zero, we'll lose the game. Um, each hero has also a combat points dial. We all start with two there, and that will go up and down as we spend them on cards and abilities through the game. We have our deck of cards, which we will draw four to start the game and many more throughout the game. We all have five hero dice, which have different symbols, and of course our numbered one through six, which we will roll on our turns. On your left side here, you have your hero leaflet, which is some special abilities, generally status effects, that you can apply for positive or negatives on yourself or others. Um, and then your main hero board has your character and lots of different abilities, usually offensive abilities that you're going to use to attack the opposing team, and uh, usually one or two defensive abilities. Those are the green ones in the bottom right corner that can mitigate or reverse some incoming damage. So, how does this game work? We start with uh, an upkeep phase. And the first thing we do, that let's say Lincoln's going to be our start player, we've determined off camera, and in a two versus two game, we don't go clockwise or counterclockwise. Clockwise. We go in Z fashion. Z fashion? Z fashion? Z fashion? It's, yes, Z fashion. This is zigzag fashion. So we're going to go Lincoln, then Nikki, then Dave, then me in that order so that the team uh, turns are staggered. Um, so in the upkeep phase, you just resolve any applicable status effects. That's not going to matter in our first turn. Then you take your income phase. Only in the very first turn of the game is this skipped, so Lincoln is not going to do it. Every other turn we're going to do this, and you're going to gain one combat point on your combat dial and draw one card. So every other turn other than this very first one, you're going to draw one more card. Just me. I mean, Just you. Yeah, yeah, the rest of you guys get to right. draw. Right. Yeah. Everybody else is going to draw. Everyone forever for the rest of the game is going to draw one card and get a combat point. Then you go on to your main phase of the turn, which is where you can play ability cards and upgrade some of your abilities. Uh, here I have some card types. Red bordered cards are instant. Those are cards that you have, and the, the CP cost, the combat point cost is always on the left here in this little white rectangle. Red cards are instant, they have an instant effect in the game, and they cannot be interrupted by anything. An instant card just happens. Uh, Blue cards are blue bordered and happen in your main phase, which is what I just discussed. Orange cards happen in one of the offensive role, targeting role, or defensive role phases, which I haven't gotten to. But looking at the border of the card sort of tells you what sort, what time of the turn it's going to happen in. The other type of card is this one, which will have an ability name at the top and generally a number after it. So you can see that I'm showing Spellcraft 2. 
That is a card that I might spend. It actually costs a two CP and it will upgrade an ability on your hero board. So my spellcraft ability that I start with will become more powerful and probably deal more damage, maybe apply status effects, maybe be easier to trigger, something like that. So you should have in your deck several abilities, maybe all your abilities can be upgraded and get more powerful throughout the game. Those are types of cards that you will see in your deck. So in your main phase, you could spend all some or none of the CP on your combat point style. You're not required to spend any. The combat points go quite high. Uh, you may not have cards that you want to spend. You may be waiting for something more powerful. Or it may be time for a big turn. You're going to spend them all and play several cards. Um, you can also sell, i.e. discard cards that you don't think are very useful right now. And every card that you discard during this phase, you gain a CP. You gain a combat point. So cards can also be fuel for uh, you know, generating more CP for other cards. Once you've done that, played all the cards you want to play in that phase, not for the entire turn because you're going to get another opportunity shortly. Now you're going to roll your dice. This is the main Yahtzee phase of the game. I'm not going to use Yahtzee too many more times. <laughs> but you're going to roll your five dice and you have, like Yahtzee, two full re-rolls if you wish. I'm going to roll my five dice, and if I like what I rolled, I can be done right there. In fact, well, okay, I rolled four of the same symbol, which is probably pretty good. I might only re-roll this one symbol. But what you're generally looking for is an attack to damage the other team. And you're looking at these abilities on your hero board. Like Yahtzee, uh, rolling five of the exact same thing is going to always be really great. Your middle of your hero board has your ultimate ability, which is unblockable damage and probably your biggest damage number on your hero board. So if you do happen to roll, I think it might even just be all sixes for all of it's us. It's the one unique symbol. It's the one know. unique symbol, yeah. So even though I rolled four of the same symbol, rolling five of those is not an automatic ultimate for me. It has to be right. essentially my six, my unique symbol. But for instance, let's say I did roll all of these symbols without even looking at the digits on my dice. Five of this warp symbol for the Scarlet Witch would let me trigger my Hexbolt ability. Ah. Three of those does four damage, four of those does six damage, five of those does eight damage. So if my initial roll was four, I might very well keep those and just re-roll that last die trying to get a fifth one and do that damage. So uh, you can look at your board and see what you're going for. Uh, this symbol here, I mean this, this iconography here where the dice are blank but slightly increase in size, that is a small or large straight. So you can make a four die straight or a five die straight. The four die straight could be, this has to be numerical. The four mm. die straight can be one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, or three, four, five, six. And the large straight would have to use all four, all five of your dice and it would have to be one through five or two through six. Your and board's then, different. Oh, but does I not, have you have only small a small straight here and a large oh, down okay. here. You have a whole extra I have, thing. I have, and both of my straights are different powers okay. of the same ability. So yeah, all the boards are going to be different. But I'm just <coughs> saying some of the things that will be on them. Um, I have an ability that has four different symbols. This one has two pairs of two symbols. So you'll be looking for any of these in your in initial roll. It is possible that you will have cards and abilities that will let you alter these rolls. It is possible to roll badly enough that you will not be able to trigger any of these abilities <laughs> on your turn. Uh, hopefully that should be rare, but it is possible to um, skip this phase four offensive roll phase without actually having triggered any of these. But in most turns, you're gonna achieve a die roll, even if, let's say I never got that fourth, fifth symbol and I just use four dice to trigger a hex bolt that does six damage. I've now finished my offensive roll phase and chosen an ability. I've activated one offensive ability. Most turns you will do that. Then we go to the targeting roll phase. This phase only happens in a four player game. Like I mentioned, two player game, you're just facing a one opponent. Three player game, you pick an opponent to hit. In the four player game, special phase. <laughs> so let's say I've done this, I've got, I'm trying to do six damage. Who's it going to? Or hmm. actually, it's going to it's going to the, your team, so it right. goes to your team health pool. But who's going to defend against it? 
simple phase. This die roll can interestingly be modified by cards if you guys wanted to play one or me or Nikki wanted to play one. But the basic rule is roll one die. On a one or two, it goes to the player on the left. On a three or four, it goes to the player on the right. On a five, the enemy team chooses. And on a six, our team chooses. Hmm. The only reason that matters is that uh, your, your team, the team that's getting hit, has defensive abilities, those green ones in the corner. Yeah. And you'll get to roll one die roll, no re-rolls without special abilities or whatever, to mitigate or reflect some of that incoming damage. So it is possible that Spider-Man's defense abilities are much more powerful than Thor's or that Thor's has been upgraded and yours hasn't. So you may you know, know who has the better defense at the moment. Or just randomly roll and see who gets it. Then we will go on to the defensive roll phase. Whoever is the chosen defender in our four player game will roll however many dice is on their defense ability. Minus five, Loki's is one die. Yeah. And you guys both have a two and three die ability. So you roll that many dice just the one time <clears throat> and do what the ability says. We'll, we'll come to that in, in, during the game. It's pretty simple. That is the attack part of the, a turn. After all that happens, you have another main phase. Because you might have drawn some cards or had something happen or had a card that you might not want to play before all that happens, you now have another opportunity to play cards out of your hand, sell cards to discard for, one, for CP. It's another main phase identical to the one you already had. A lot of turns you're just going to skip that, but you may now play cards if you want to or discard again. And then the final part of your turn is a discard phase where your hand limit is essentially six. If you are somehow now still stuck with more six, more than six cards, even though I just gave you the opportunity to sell some, yeah. you now have to discard down to six cards. Well, right? you can sell them. I mean, you. I, that's what I said. I don't. I don't know how you would still be stuck with more than so, six. I mean, it says discard phase. Sell all cards beyond six. Oh, you're right. Yeah. So you still. So get you to can't sell them. Yeah. It's like I yeah. don't. It's weird. I suppose. That I know what you be. mean, though. It is weird. You it is just weird. had a chance to sell them, and now you're and now you are forced to sell. I don't them. want to sell them. Well, guess what? You well, have guess what? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that's the entire order of a turn. Basically, that's the game. But of course, this being a superhero and ability type game, every single card play and ability in the game is going to alter what I just told you. One sort of important thing to remember: a lot of damage you'll see in a black circle is normal damage, and that can generally be defended by uh, defense abilities. Re damage in a red circle is undefendable. So you do not get to roll a defense ability as I explained against that damage. There are several types of special damage and special damage rules, but we can come to those when we get, if we get to any of them. Your ultimate power, the five identical symbols in the middle of your board, is unblockable, undefendable, unmitigatable. Nothing can change that damage. Hmm. It is, it is an ultimate power. The only things that can alter the damage from an ultimate power are our, my abilities boosting the damage or changing it, or altering the dice before they actually trigger the ability. If I have rolled my five identical crowns to trigger the ability, but you have uh, something that changes or re-rolls my dice before I actually trigger it, that's okay. Once the ability has been triggered, the damage cannot be blocked, avoided, or no action of any kind can be performed by an opponent until the ability fully completes. So your ultimate ability is super powerful. Okay, makes sense. All right, just a couple other quick general rules and we can start with Thor. Uh, your hero leaflet on your left has several different status effects, as I mentioned, and we're not gonna explain all those until they're active in the game and we need to use them but you can read your own and sort of understand what they do and see what abilities use them. But each of them is generally a positive or negative buff for your friends or enemies. You see that each of them has a stack limit number. That number can change by some cards and abilities in the game, but generally that is the number you can stack on any one hero in the game. For instance, Dave is Spider-Man and his webbed status effect has a stack limit of one. So if he webs me, that's the limit right now. He cannot put a second webbed counter on me unless he upgrades his stack limit to two. But he could web Loki or web mm -hmm. Thor if there was a positive effect to be to doing that. 
He cannot add a second one to that to us until his stack limit increases to two or this one goes away for whatever reason. Most timing questions in this game will be fairly clear because the cards will tell you when you can use their abilities. And instant abilities can't be interrupted by anything. But if something comes down to the timing of who gets to go first when me and Dave want to do something at the same time, timing go prefers the player whose turn it is. So if we're doing something on your turn, your action happens first. And if we're doing something on okay. my turn, my action happens first. The timing example of this in the rule book is if I have a crackle token and you are trying to remove it with an action card. Uh, if it is your turn, that can be successful because your action card will happen before I can use the token, even though they're both instant abilities. But if it's my turn, I can use this token for its ability to damage you or whatever it does before you can trigger the card to remove this token because it's my turn and I win the timing I like it. tug of war. Yeah, it's very simple that way. So, I think that's everything we need to know to start the game. We're going to learn lots of new rules about how our abilities work as we go, but it's Lincoln's turn to start. Upkeep, and he has no, to do. no upkeep and in, no in, income. Income phase, nothing to do. Main phase, playability upgrades. I'm going to draw Has everyone four drawn cards, four, cards. four cards? Four cards to start your setup. And normally, Lincoln would draw a card and gain a thing, but he doesn't because it's the Just first. because he's the first, first player, and special. that's all. Okay. Yes. Mm. I actually drew Hammered 3. Is that... Can I just j jump to that? From, you I absolutely can. It probably costs more than Hammered 2, but you don't have to play Hammered 2 first. Oh, you, you know what? I think I recall Hammered 2 is Hammered two is 0. So oh. I'm going to spend the 2. Might as well just do it. And that's going to give me um, a little right. bit more power to the uh, to my, my base... Power um, to your hammer. Yeah. My so base attack. Please, Thor. Don't hurt him. Please, <laughs> Thor. Okay. And then... Um, and the rest of these I need money to do, so now I'm going to roll. I mean, I need uh, combat points. So, offensive roll, take up to three rolls to activate an ability. Come on, dice. Hey, look at that. It's basically going to be hammered three. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Then I decide who's going to get targeted. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Wow. Wow. So, I mean, come on. It's the easiest roll I've got here. <laughs> yeah. Um, but still. So, I'm going to target. So, I roll the die. Left, then right. One mm -hmm. to two. Okay. Five. Hey, it's you. Okay. One. I got a one. Sorry. Okay. And and what it's is the, what's the eight amount of damage? damage? Okay. Eight damage. And my here. This is my. I also. I will also. At this. This is also happening. I throw that, and that's going to be one undefendable damage. As an isolated source. Yep. It's one as an isolated source of undefendable damage. Okay. So it yeah. doesn't. It doesn't add to nope. the other damage if I mitigated that. Correct. And don't forget the bottom of your card. Uh, on three of a kinds, gain an electrokinesis. I do have a three of a kind, so I have an electrokinesis. Is it only on a three of a kind? For the because of his upgrade, uh, it's th that. Three, one, three of a kind numbers. So I have one, two, three. Oh. I mean yeah. one, one, one. Oh, that's what it means. Not yeah. the symbol. Not the ah, numbers. Symbol. Okay, numbers. numbers. Got it. Excellent. What, so what happens to the hammer? Does it come back to you at the not end till of the turn? I recu not he till has I to get I it. Oh. I have to actually spend a card or do something oh, to okay. retrieve it. Or do this again. Yes. Well, if it lets, if I do it, right. it brings it back. All right. I'm rolling my double trouble defense roll. <laughs> double trouble. I'm, I'm looking for pairs. So on two warp symbols, I gain crackle. And if I got two of the, these symbols, I gain probability manipulation. And on two of those, I gain contra. They all just... Yeah, it doesn't actually prevent much damage. No, the, the it's sixes like low key. Yeah. reflect damage yeah. for me. But uh, they mostly gain status effects. So you take eight? I can, Hold on. Nine, actually. Hold on. <laughs> can I play one of my orange cards to help you out right now? Yes, thank you. I uh, neglected to mention that okay. on the uh, teach. The orange, as well as the interrupt cards, but the orange cards you can play on other players' turns okay. to help out or to or increase or defend their attacks. Do you need help? I mean, 
you know, yes, but it's also early in the game, so... Should I hold on to it? You're not at seven yet. We're on the same turn. We're, We're on the same seven. team. All the damage is bad. Okay. It's up to you, really. Let me see, let me see what this one does. Uh, what What's wrong with your roll, can I ask? Um, I was... The only thing I was thinking about is I could adjust one of these dice yes. so that I would either have two of this symbol to gain this thing or two of this to gain this. But neither one of them is so good that it's worth burning a card on. And I have another thing could ref reflect a little or defend a little bit of damage, but I don't think it's that great. So All right. I think I, we're fine. I'll so I'm taking, well, we're taking nine, nine damage. damage. Yeah. Ow. I know. Ow. Collective, he threw a, a hammer Collective ow. <laughs> he threw a hammer at you. All right. Um, okay. And now it is now, Nikki's turn. Now, now you, oh, all, yeah, that's you have right. another main phase. Yes. A main and you phase. can sell cards and then yeah. you discard down to six, but I'm sure you're at less than six. Just to be clear for everybody. Sure. Makes sense. But then, yes, now it's Nikki's turn. Okay. You can also, you, of course, if you hate some cards, you can get rid of them. Okay. Boom, Nikki's turn. Sweet. And so. I did, uh, so everybody knows, I did get Crackle, which increases From damage. Sony. <laughs> oh my god. It's gosh. not a very good streaming service. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay, so I gain one in my combat. Yep. And I draw a card. I will upgrade that one Villify. for two. Nice. One, two, so I'm down to one, and I upgraded my Vilify. And let's see if there's something else I can do. No, let's roll dice. So I'm on offensive now. I, yeah. Okay. And I've got, hmm, what can I do? You have a Vilify right there. What can I do? That's, I need a bunch of Vilify. No, no, that's no. not Vilify. Or, I'm sorry. Ability. You have it. Mischief. Vilify. Yeah. Uh, I'm probably going to do it. For it me, I'm going to put these on here because it oh, helps sure. me yeah. know yeah. what yeah. I'm 100%. doing. Makes sense. And my Vilify is I can um, inflict a, a spell bound. And what that does is I take one of these and I cover up some, a, a player's Somebody's ab action, up yeah. Ability Ooh. and it stays on there until After their the offensive um, roll phase. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. And then it just comes back to me. Um, Sounds good. Okay, the other part of the card is if any of your opponents have more health than you, gain an illusion and deal eight damage. <laughs> That's blockable, by the way. Um, Still, otherwise. Deal six undefendable damage and choose two players to gain a bag of tricks. May choose the same player twice. So I'm going to just do that one. So I'm going to inflict and on Dave since he will be. I think, I think you, you might have roll. to roll to determine. It's part of, it's part of the attack. Okay. So. You want a three, four if you want me or a six. I got a five. That's us. I, I mean, I don't care. I mean, I don't know if there's. I certainly should have some, you know, maybe hammered three. The problem is, is it doesn't do, it doesn't stop you from doing something on your turn. Right. She wants now, to Now, if it, you were to upgrade, hold, hold if you were, if you were to upgrade something. I don't say, think you guys get to choose where that goes. I'm no. just saying, if we, no. if, if it's going to me. Ah, I see. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. If you, if you, let's say we put, she put mm -hmm. it on your punch. If you upgraded, It'll still be on your punch, right? Okay. So if I had this beforehand and then this was on uh, yeah. on here, it would just stick on there. But again, if we choose, she's probably going to want to choose my new thing. Mm -hmm. my, it's just it sits there until the next I round. Think one, I she think could have wanted to put it on me. Just let her put it on me. Yeah. This is the easiest ability. It right? is. I put have, it on their I have main better ability, defense than right? you, yeah. right? I think so. I don't know if you do. Anyway, mm -hmm. Nikki, you get to choose. Uh, Nikki, go ahead. Which one of you guys wants it? Give it to me. Okay. Yeah, Dave's okay. That's who you Give wanted to do it with. It's going yeah. on your top. Yeah, the first one. Punch. 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 Punch kick it's all right, in the All right, then uh, I'm gonna roll some. I'm gonna your roll opponents anyway. have more health. We do. They do. Yep. So you, I'm going to gain an illusion, and then I deal eight, eight damage, damage yeah. but so it's you're gonna roll. blockable. So I roll two dice? Or three if you want to counter punch. Yeah, which ability do you want to use? Just one per No, uh, I want to roll two. Flip, flip, flip. Okay. I what, could use What ability are you using, Spider-Man? I'm spider using my sense. spider sense. All right, here we go. I rolled... Well, more importantly, I didn't roll a spider. 
Okay. Right, that's so I roll a four, which means it's the I toughest do, one to roll. I do nothing. Yeah, you're uh, right. So basically, if you roll a six, you take half the damage. Routed my favor, and uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I should have done the other one, but yeah, I'm learning. All right, I'm learning. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. All right, we take eight. Yep. Yeah, eight. No, eight and damage. Seven. I got oh, okay. the wrong one. Yeah, take, lose eight of that. Negative eight. It's a zero. Combat points. Okay. I mean, what, if I go um, back eight, it's going to be good. So do you? Want so me to how do does that? the illusion work, Nikki? Oh, illusion. this illusion? Yes. I would uh, hand, I would have handed him before he rolled the illusion token and then given him three cards to choose from and I can I'll just show him um, depending upon what card he um, pulled that would be a fail means you hit the uh, we get damage you would get uh, no, prevents, Loki prevents uh, that's infinite right, that, incoming right Oh, okay. And then partial success, Loki prevents half. This right. is usually in attacking. Yeah. When we attack, this yeah. is Yeah, yeah, this is yeah. for defending Well, if herself. I had done counterpunch, you could yeah, yeah. but yeah. I didn't, so. Kay. So that's your main, that's being your main defense, not, yep. your, not your defense ability. Yeah, well, the problem okay. is I only have two of these tokens, and I have to get yeah, them. Yeah, well, you got one. And you can set stack them off two on of people. Them. Main okay. phase, two. Uh, yes, I am. One, two, three, four. Am I going to use that card? I'm going to. I'm done with okay. all of it. I get. Okay, I don't have any upkeep because this is still stays to the end. So I go to three of these. I get a card. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I am going to go to Paris, France. I'm going to spend one oh. CP. Do we just have a discard pile? Is that how that works? Yeah, next to your pile. To play double up, which will allow me to draw two cards. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Well, I'm going to spend two CP. I have none now. I assume you want to spend them. I mean, I, I did when we played this All right. before. Venom Punch 2. Nice. It's just so hard to get. That's your sixes. The first one basically is the same plus a damage, but it adds three of them at the bottom. Combo up. Yeah, I gain a combo and I can deal two undefendable damage. Combo's one of his tokens. Oh. Now I'm going to roll. Those aren't spiders, man. But They're webs. that's exactly this. So oh, come on. Let's just put this here. So that is a full house. Almost. If that were, if these were two twos or two twos. But I mean, it is a full house, yeah, symbol well, wise. Symbol wise, yeah. All right, so I'm going to gain invisibility. Invisibility. And I'll roll one of your dice to see where we go, the damage goes to. One, two, three, four. It goes to you, Nikki. All right, no, no, play no. that is illusion. It, yeah, that left and right. Left is one to two. Okay. Oh, two, yeah, you're three, right. Four. Yeah. All right, Nikki, you're gaining yeah. seven damage. Well, let's put an illusion on you. No kidding. <laughs> you think? Okay. Here. A player with this token may spend it when being attacked. There you go. Cool. Okay. 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 Let's go for it. I present with the three. The attacker chooses any one of them, flips over the chosen cards, and resolves the text. Okay. Spend yeah, it. so I don't think you give it to well, me. I think you just spend it. I like marking it. Meanwhile. <laughs> okay. Success. <laughs> Loki prevents zero incoming damage. Sweet. Oh, that's the wrong success. I, if I had known, no, that's no, what you want. That's what you that want. Is your, that, oh, is that is what your I want. Plus. Sweet, but it is he, his. Oh, but you give him a bag the of tricks. The attacker gains a bag of tricks. You get a bag of tricks. Okay. Loki may could spend another illusion if he had it, but oh, doesn't he have another one. Okay. But I'm gonna take all that. We're gonna take all that damage. Yeah, seven. Yeah. Seven. Ah, whatever. No, wait. You can still roll this. Defense, right? Yeah, yes, yeah, I'm absolutely. sorry. I forget that all the time. It You're doesn't welcome. really stop it, though. I know, but it still has yeah. another effect. That is... Inflict Spellbound. Inflict in a Spellbound. I'm Should sure it's still it? on Dave. Uh, yeah, because okay. it's, it's, a, it's a defense to his attack. He did not mention this was called... Web Crawler. Web Crawler. Crawler. You could block that one if you want. No, it's... Or his v Venom Punch. Yeah, block, block the one he just upgraded. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, does that block the bottom one? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it because it's specifically showing two separate areas. Interesting. Right? Yeah. Now, there is a rule about my spellbound. I cannot cover up your whole entire board. Okay. You you don't have enough to do that. Well, either. yeah, but it. I can only... Oh, but six would do it. 
Yeah. She's only got like five. Well, she's got six total. Yeah. It would block oh, all of her. Well, her, all and of the his. stack limit is three until she upgrades it. So, well, this one's going away at the end of my turn, right? I know. This one stays, I assume. I would think so. Yes. When does it, it say? Okay, so the the first one, it's offensive phase, uh, which you've already done. Remove this token at the yes at the great. conclusion of yep, their offense phase. Okay. Okay. He just took it out for you. That makes sense. So that's there now. Yeah. Okay, and you still have to take seven damage. Yes. Yes. They, yeah. you, that they was had, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they hadn't done that yet. Well, because we had, hadn't rolled our defense yet. It's weird, though. You guys are both the same. Not really Not stopping actually the damage. De defending, but doing okay. effects instead of that. Yeah. I'm kidding yeah. my cards. I'm done. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have no... Yeah. Is these, you're at your hand limit? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm good. I'll go Thank up you. to three combat points, and I'll take a card. I'll take a card. Pick a card, any card. Any card. Oh, that's interesting. Low key. Right. I am going to. I'm going to spend two to go back down to one and upgrade Jinx Ooh. to Jinx two. Now it does more stuff. So hey, Nikki. Mm -hmm. So what does this bag of tricks do actually? So on your when it's your turn again, and you're during your upkeep phase, you're going to yeah. roll a die, and whatever that number is, it'll give you... A, it could be bad, could be could, good. Could be bad, could be... There could is be a chance it could be good. If you roll uh. a six, it's good for you. Okay. And now I'll do my offensive roll, and I want two pair for Jinx. I want uh, two warps and two chaos. Good luck. Thanks, man. I got... Wait. Oh, is it that? Yeah, there was... it again. No, it was just like a little cock. It was going to be... All right. All right, I got. You set three precedent warps. now. Well, it was uh, it was clearly <laughs> going to be. I got one six. What are we, what is this? This is one of each for mind Should blast. Should be good. It's like Nikki's um, blast. Other Vilify. Than, other than selling cards, how do you get your CP up any higher? Well, Every you, turn you're going to get, get one. one. Yeah, yeah. Get a lucky card that. Okay. Yeah. Or if you if or you roll card. a six. If you roll a six, you get two CP. Oh, on the bag of tricks, you mean? Yes. Yes. Yeah, it isn't that easy. No it's tricks. not like you can increase your income. Roll the six. Uh, I could try that. <laughs> I have three head. of the symbols for Mind Blast, so I'm going to try rolling these two dice again and try. What do you need? I need a four. Okay. I need the yellow symbol. I got, got it. it. Nice. So uh -huh. I can, yeah, yeah. Now I just want to see if there's anything else I can try for. Which there's not. Let's see, wait. I have two, four, five, six. I'll try for a three. Yeah. And I could get a large straight instead. You got it. I got it. Oh, no. All right. So I can either do Mind Blast, which gives me a crackle, <laughs> and either five or eight damage, depending on a die roll, okay. and a probability manipulation. Or Spellcraft is nine damage for, and the die. Okay, this, this, this is better. So I'll do the, I've got a large straight Two, three, four, five, six. You guys have any uh, die roll modifiers? Mm -mm. Nope. All right. Go for it. Targeting, Targeting. phase. I'll, I'll use one of your dice. Sure. All right. Uh, here we go. We want one, two, three, four. That's a five. five. That's ones they choose. Mm. Yes. Is that defend? Is that undefendable damage or regular? Uh, damage? It is regular damage. Okay. I get to do reality warp, and if I change one of your dice to my dice, whoever whoever it hits is getting this. I get reality warp as well, part of this. Well, he's giving us what nine right now? Nine. So yeah. I could turn that down to four. No, it says rounded. Oh, sorry, up. three. Yeah, prevent half rounded up. I could turn that down oh, okay. to four. Okay. Yeah, if you want to try. Here's your reality warp. Okay. That takes effect at the beginning of your offensive roll phase. Okay. Yipes. I have all kinds of stuff. I know. You got an exciting. Right, here yeah. we go. Come on, Spidey Sense. Don't fail me now. Spidey! Hey. Yeah. Let's. Wow. I'm going to play Tip It. Increase or decrease any die by the value of one. I've spent a CP and made that a five. All right. I'm going to discard my invisibility to roll again. Come on, Spidey hex, Sense. Hex, hex. Literal hex. Oh. Oh. Literal hex. <laughs> it was worth trying. It worked. It was worth or a try. Or maybe not. I don't know. No, I think it was a great try. Maybe I wasted this. All right. We have take, your nine damage. <laughs> we'll take nine. So, 33. 
We're winning. Yeah. <laughs> we, we are. Right. I won. By one. Next, your th do your main phase. Uh, yeah. It's, I might actually discard a card. Let's see. This is an expensive card, so I'm going to discard. I'm going to discard a card for a CP. Okay. All right. I'm done. Lincoln's turn. Okay. Upkeep phase. I have no upkeep. Okay. Ha. I got phase. nothing but upkeep. <laughs> And I gain one combat point. A point to point D. Okay. <laughs> what did I get? Um, I will roll my dice. Okay. Oh. I have... I could do... I don't really have a one of each thing like you guys have. Um... Mm. No, you've got a couple different full house things. Yeah. And this one is almost like two, three, four. If I had a five, I'd have a good straight. I could have a, n a straight the other way, too. Like, ah, let's try. Five. Okay, so I have the l large straight. Sweet. Man. Nice. Okay. So. You get the large straight. A lot yeah. of good rolls. Yeah, I know. Okay, so throw a retrieve Molnir, so it's coming back. Gain electrokinesis. Nice. And then I deal 10 damage to oh. someone here. Roll it up. Two. Two, Nikki. Nope, no, left. Left, yeah. Here. Oh, you're right. So. What do you, I don't know well, I mean, no, if I, I can mean, help you. I have, a, I, have a, I have a thing that does a little bit of damage reduction, but for now, let's not worry about it. Okay. I mean, it's going to be the same now or later. All right. All right, I'll, I'm going to roll my double trouble defense. Which really just generates mostly. Actually, if I roll two sixes, you take four damage that you can't defend against. Come on, sixes. Nope. I rolled two warps, which gains crackle, and two, two yeah, two fours, two chaos, yellow. which is probability manipulation. That allows me to adjust a two, four, or six up or down by one. Neat. Nice. Mm. Yeah. And you take ten damage. Ah, eh, ten damage. That's twenty-four. Oh, take two. They're small. Take yeah. ten. They're small. Yeah. I'll hold on to these. And okay. It is Nikki. Nikki's turn. All right. So let me take a card. Nothing in the upkeep Sweet. phase, you guys. Nothing. Sweet. <laughs> 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 oh, you're gonna get to do it. You're the exciting one. Yeah, you are. You got a lot. <laughs> when do the crackles come into play? They, well, when I want to spend one. But it's best if I have three and oh. then spend one because I get two extra damage out of Ooh. it. So every time, you get one extra damage per status marker on my board after I remove the crackle. I prefer Kit Kat to crackle. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna do a, a upgrade, uh, the double take, and that is Bum takes hum. me down to zero. And here we go. What's the bottom half? The bottom half is Major Look. Major Look. Uh, gain an illusion and deal three undefendable damage. Mm -hmm. Mm. And then the top Ooh. half Ooh. upgrades my seven undefendable to an eight undefendable. Which, wow, that's an illusion, a s yeah. three spell bounds, and yeah. eight undefendable. Oh, yeah, yeah it's, it also it's the sixes. upgrades it's, my... Yeah, it's four sixes it's instead so of five. It's yeah. still really good, though. Eek. She got one six. Yeah, that's She not, got three, not three so. yellows. What can you do with that? I can do a... Conf Confundle. Confundle. You're w and you're one away from another vilify if you reroll two yellows. That and that, and we'll reroll and we'll see if we end up which one we end up with. We end up with. You have that one. That. So Confundle. it's Confundle. So inflict two uh, spellbound and deal seven damage. Sounds okay. So. Uh, we need you yep. need to roll to see where I'm gonna roll your other die for give these for spell bounds. Six. See, it's a six. You choose. You choose. Who do you want it? We got two. I say put it on Dave. His turn's next. Okay. He's already got a blocked ability. Now I don't know if I can divide this up. Would it you think? No. Or would you're, it be two on no, no. one person? No. Okay. It's two on one person. You're targeting right, one Dave. Yeah, both of these. Yes. Where do they go? We get two. Okay, yeah, where do they one go? On. Well, the top the base one. punch for sure. What else? Do you want to do it on wild? No, that's that? that's a full yeah. house. It's yeah, I'm not going to do that in there again. Yeah. Do, you, There's no chance. Uh, this, this is, is this both of his streets, <laughs> okay. small straight and large straight. Ensnare. 
and snare. Oh, that covers both? I it's it's yeah, a whole because it's title. title. Nice. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Your turn stinks. But then I'm dealing Maybe. seven. I'm going to roll around you guys. No way. You just wait. You're, so you're you have to defend against man. seven. When I rolled my combo. Combo. Yeah, yeah, you got to defend against seven damage. Oh, me? Yeah. All right, Lincoln. I keep wanting to do this, but do I want to just counterpunch or do I want to. Um, hold on. I won't. Oh. Uh, okay, chosen player. That'll be you. Okay. Uh, prevent six damage. Oh. oh. So just take one. No, I still get he to still defend. Gets the defense. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay. Let's do the counterpunch then. My goodness. They're right in front of you. Oh, I rolled the spider even. Okay, uh, one undefendable damage back at you. Back at us. Ooh. But right you back at our... you. What? No. You took no. our hit, right? No, we no were I didn't. Not yet. You were rolling. We get. Oh, yeah, that's right. True. There we one. go. We're at 23. Boo. That's not good after our turn. I'm trying. Damn, <laughs> man. Think, think Thor. Not this time. That was sweet. <laughs> I don't know that he has a lisp. I know that <laughs> I could <laughs> whip. <laughs> it's just a Thor thing. Oh, <laughs> Thor. Thor whip. Yeah, Thor, Thor. Okay. Uh, this, this side of the table's got a. Th- all right, I'm done. All right, hey, upkeep phase. What do I do now? Roll now, die. roll the die right. and Come tell on. me the number. Spider. Six. Four. What is that? Four is Loki chooses whether the player heals two, gains one combat point, or receives two unblockable damage. Undef- is it undefendable. undefendable. I think she's going to choose undefendable. What do you think? Uh, what undefendable. Do you think? Yeah, here we go. That was, see, that's why she might put it on herself. But, yeah, uh, right. He he loses the bag of tricks, right? It, yeah, it comes there back to me now. There's your bag of tricks. Yeah. All right, now, now this, right? Does no, no, that's, that? that's during the uh, defensive roll phase. I get a combat point. I get a card. He gets his card. Oh. Ooh. I'm going to discard these two. Dave, just yeah. so you know, if you want to upgrade something that has an illusion on it, yep. you, or a spell so bound bad. on it, you... Still can't. I, I explained that to oh, but, okay. but the spellbound stays there. It though. stays. Yes. Okay, that's fine. But I'm going to discard these for two more CPs. Mm. Ooh, building up an army over here. And now let's roll dice and see what happens. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Which one would you like? Mm, this one seems lucky. Sucka, <laughs> that's exactly the one I wanted you to take. Okay, take your token back. You remove the token. Yeah. I, I give you the dice. Yep. For I this space. The, but I can't roll the wall crawler. Right. Nice. I forgot about that. I guess I'm gonna have to get the three spider combo up. Or the get other reflexes. Or or c- c- combo. That's eh. blocked. The three combo spider up. combo. The combo. No, no, is no that's no, a separate not. part oh, of the Oh, it is a separate. Uh, uh, there's one. Sorry. Can you use that somehow? No. You got, Can you wait, alter wait, what, cards? What about spider reflexes? You got two thirds of spider reflexes. Come on. You don't think I can get three spider combo? Hang on, let me look at my cards. Let me look at my cards. Let me look at my cards. Here I go. <laughs> You're crazy. He is. I know. He's gonna get zero. Well, maybe we'll he'll get something dice. out of All it. All right. What do I need? The the web. Well, try for whatever. Okay. Let him scratch. I only get to roll one dice to do that, though. I know. This way, I've got three dice to get a spider. Oh, go for it. Now here's the deal. If you if you had your straights, you could use his straight because <gasps> it's numbers. Oh, you can't right. do that though because you can't it's block. Oh, yeah. oh, if I had your state, yes, still can happen though. That's the oh, thing. Oh, I know. That's, that's why cool we blocked that one. Yeah. Mm. There we go. Yeah, uh, Spider Man's messed up, man. I know. He, is, he doesn't even know what he's swinging at. Come on, Spider. <laughs> but I rolled the spider reflexes. Oh, you come on! Yeah. Yeah. You weren't well, even trying for that. Dude. All right, I'm about to use my spider reflexes. I roll two dice and I deal damage equal to the total of the roll. Yeah, it's nice. pretty great. But what's wow. going to be great I have is one of those too. I'll be using your <laughs> die for that roll. Let's see how badly you hurt yourself or helped yourself. Exactly. Don't hit yourself. Don't hit yourself. Oh, look, you gave me a four, Aaron. And Thank a you. Three. So that's great. seven damage. Woo! That's it's unblockable. Rolled, uh, no, no, it's no, regular damage. No, it's regular damage. By the way, if the final roll had been five or less, I would have gained a combo. Huh. No. But it will go to player number one. It's Aaron. Aaron. Here's your die back, Dave. Thanks. You know what I want you to do with it? <laughs> choke on it? Yeah, choke on it. <laughs> okay. Do you want to take Seven the damage, damage or do you want to alter it? I mean, I can alter a little bit of it. Do you have anything to do with I it? I can alter a little. Um, just a little. 
I mean, basically just make it well, one less see. hit. One less hit? You don't have any CP. Does your card cost CP? Oh, darn it, it right, does. Then I'll use mine. You use Never yours mind. later. All right, first I'll roll my defense roll. This is in defense. Oh. Yeah, I'll just play this. Uh, okay. Play after being attacked. Yep. I roll five dice. It's yep. a hex shield. For every warp symbol I roll, wow. I prevent a damage. That's good. And if I roll two sixes, you get another reality warp to get one of my dice. Okay. Does it cost you anything? Cost me one CP. Thank you. I rolled. Oh my god. Uh, I rolled one. That's terrible. Hold on. I'm sorry, Aaron. Hold on. Okay, I'm holding on. Uh, I can only change even numbered rolls right now, so can I can Can you can't. do it for free? Because you have no more CP. Yes, I have this. Ah, excellent. But those that's three fives and a one. I can't change oh, the six. Oh, I'm sorry. I really so uh. I, I prevented one damage. Okay. With so my card. Six. So six damage. And then... Uh, I also get this defense roll. So what was that that you just did? That was the card the you card. paid for. Got it. It was Hex Shield. Yep. Now, double trouble. Double Trouble generates my third crackle, which is my stacking limit, yeah. and nothing else. Wow. Okay. So now we take what? Six, Six damage. Six instead of seven. Hey, we're down to 17. That's not so good. Uh, before I go to my main yes, phase, sir. I'm done. I'm done yes. with you and your mysticism. That's for now. cool. And your tricks, your hijinks, <laughs> uh, your for japes, now. your japery. I'll be back. Uh, <laughs> uh, my main phase, though, I'm keeping all of these. No discard needed, Aaron. Uh, uh, your turn. Yeah, okay. Uh, I get one... Well, I have no upkeep. I get one card and one No CP. upkeep? What's with you guys? I know. <laughs> we don't have anything that really does anything. Unless some of the, the webbed would go to them if you I'm going to spend a card in my main phase. I'm using my CP to cast Incantation, <laughs> which gives me a Conjure status effect. He's got all these cards. I... Scared. Conjure lets Scared. me gain a chosen player's positive status effect so I could steal one from someone else okay. or inflict reality warp, which is the die changing one. And you're going to find out in a second why that's worth it. All right, I like it. This is my offensive roll phase. I have two fives and a one, two, four. So I have... It's funny, I almost never even look at the numbers. I know. I have to I start mean, looking at the numbers. Yeah. Well, because I'm one away from a the large straight. straight if I fix, get that roll. I am... I need a six for that. I need a lot of sixes for that. I didn't... I only have... I don't even have anything for that. Or I need one symbol for this. Jinx too. I guess I'll try for Jinx too because I can get a couple good rolls for that. So I'm looking for a yellow chaos symbol. No, but I now have four if I wanted to do hex bolt. Hex bolt. Hex bolt. Look at this one, Dave. It says when you retrieve Mjolnir, Mew Mew. Mew you deal three dam collateral damage, mm. three undefendable collateral damages from who you retreat from. It's really cool if you can leave it there. It's just right. a weird one. And this one upgrades too, I think. I mean, they all upgrade. But. I I'm gonna roll this one more time and try for a five power hex bolt. I got it. Wow. Deals eight damage. Nice. The target is... The target is... Me! Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Wow. Come on. Spider -Man. We are just um, all over Spider-Man. Sorry, before I rolled that, I should have done this. This is, I'm going to use some crackles. Okay. So it, it didn't up. matter who the target was. Fair enough. I'm going to use a crackle. Use a crackle. If you conclude your offensive roll phase with an attack, I spend this token. If spent, add one damage per positive or negative status effect on their hero board, excluding the crackle that was just spent. So this adds four damage. It's now 12. And I can spend two crackle per turn. I'm going to remove another one to add three. It's now 15 incoming damage. Okay. Um, it's defendable though, correct? Yeah, it's no, it's all normal. Is that a status effect? It, it, these if are you guys have removed status effects, you could the, stop the him from sense? doing that. Yeah. But I'm just saying. I could cut it in half. No, we don't have, he's, a, got, he's got stuff I don't. Spider! No. Hang on, please. <laughs> Do I... Do we want to take the Hold hit? Hold on, please. 
I don't know. That's 15 points. Well, 15 is pretty significant. I can, cut it, I can cut it down to seven. Right. Uh, I would. It cost me all my CPs. Should I do Really? It? Three? Yeah. And there's no guarantee that... Well, they don't have CP, but there's no guarantee yeah. that they don't have a free card to mess me up or not. I don't know. I don't think the free card... I mean, you know, there's not a lot of free cards. I mean, I think it's worth trying uh -huh. to prevent it. I mean, 15. Okay. I, I have a card that I was saving to build up to my Venom Shockwave. Sure. But uh -huh. I can use it right now to, to do yeah. this. All right. I'm going to spend all my CP. And I am going to... Oh, it's such a waste, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I'm going to change the value of any two dice. Okay. That seems worth it, probably. I'll just make them both spiders for the fun of it. Okay. So you take seven. I take seven, correct. Wait, wait. wait. Oh, no, on is only half, yeah. 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 You can't double it up. Nope. That's too bad. That would be one. <laughs> no, yeah, right. Wait, I don't think he actually mentioned that, but yeah, on is only once. Yes. Correct. On just means you have to get that result. It doesn't sure. matter how many there are. Those are all in the rule book. But I you mean, cost me all my CP at the that, very least. That's, so that's pretty amazing, that, actually. actually. That's pretty good. But come on, change any two dice? That I know, gives me two great. spiders. Well, I think Venom get Punch would be pretty great, too. Agreed. Still, yeah, I mean, 15 seems like I a lot. I don't like you guys being six points ahead when lot. it's your turn to start now right. again. 15 felt like but, a lot. Yeah, the three CP was a good. Okay. All right. So, so I, I well, yeah, I've done everything I can do. I don't have any main faith. Actually, I will discard a card to. Oof. It's a two CP, and I have zero CP, so I'm going to gain one. But he has no cards. I know so. that's what I was. Yeah. I know, but it wasn't yeah. usable anyway. Yeah, yeah. Right. Now yeah. I just told you that, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. It wasn't that scary. Um, I will gain a CP, and I gain a card, and I will look at them and. Enjoy them. No, okay. Um, Wait, let me go. I'm going to do one one more thing. Okay, go. This af this is after my attacks and yeah. after your defense. Yeah. Since I get one more main phase after yeah. that, this conjure ability is usable during my main phase. Since I might not get another turn, we might be dead already. All right. You won't be dead. I'm going to use 17. conjure to give you a reality warp. You have to roll the die. Nope. I can either take a positive effect, or inflict reality warp on a chosen opponent. Yeah, but in this case, it's still targeting, right? No. It is a... We're out of targeting. We've had our attacks. Ah, okay. It's a main phase action. Got it. That makes sense. So I've just done that, and he'll have to use one of my dice this turn. That's sure. all. Sure. Okay. okay. I took my stuff. I got my card. <laughs> and I have no CP and no cards, so I'm just going to take a nap under the table. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. But i got nothing to spend it on until, until I get another um, turn. Goodness gracious. I think I'm just going to attack. Great he's hammer. He's kind of, third he's kind of boring, but... Nothing boring about attacking. Yeah, that's true, but... They're at 17. I have to have a die. That's right. Oh, look at that. Thor is on it. Thor is kind. And you get, I'll take Ooh. this back. One, two, three, four. four. That was pretty good. Thanks, Aaron. Did you roll yeah. this mighty... <laughs> so, oh, mighty no. no, small straight. Oh. Oh, okay. I was thinking Wait, more you that. can still do the large straight. Even with Aaron's that. I understand. I'm just it would I'm, be a, it'd be better if it was two, three, four, five, because I'd sure. have a better shot at it. But two, two. one. Okay. But yeah, is it better than this? Six That's damage? six damage. What's the small straight? Uh the small straight is deal seven damage. <laughs> if the opponent you're taking has Mjolnir, or deal nine damage. Oh, that'd oh. be so good. If you could have otherwise thrown. gain electrokinesis. So I get another electrokinesis. That's the lightning rod. Everyone. Yeah, can you do rod. something with the three of those yet? And now he can draw a card with them. Well, when I do, yeah, I can do that, but I can also, one of these, some of these attacks will increase the damage. Odin Force would increase the damage. Oh. But losing this was a, a tough, right? So, because I couldn't do it. There's no way. Okay, so, seven damage. Target. Yep. Six. Six. So, uh, we you choose. You choose. Yeah. I don't know. Got to be Aaron, I, right? Neither one of them have anything. Yeah, I guess Aaron, because neither of them ha he doesn't Nikki doesn't have uh, I don't. illusion because he sh she okay. can't use your illusion. I can't illusion. block anything. Then if pick who you want, if it doesn't make any difference, go for it, Aaron. He can do mm. stuff, can't like he? That. Yeah, well, it's good. all I can do is generate these. Oh, these. Yeah. Don't. No, okay. No. Nah, I mean, well, they let me adjust dice, but well, all wait, they do is. Wait, what can Nikki do? Nothing. Actually, if I roll two sixes, you take four damage on on. Nikki, let's well, yeah, just Nikki she, has she has never been choice. handed to her, so... so okay, so there you go. Roll, roll your one die. one die. Sweet. 
Woo-hoo! Spellbound. Ooh, I get a spellbound. It's not going to matter. Dun, dun, dun. Here, well, no. put it on your main nope. one. What? You're defending against his attack. So you on my hammer three? I okay. think you do. Shh. Okay. Fantastic. Upgraded. And then we got hit for what? Seven. Boo. Okay. Down to ten. Down to ten. Still alive. You need to heal Sorry. yourself. We need, we need, where's yet. your heal spells? Uh, in my bag Main of tricks. I know. Get them out. Hmm? Main phase two. Do them. Uh, <laughs> I do have one. Sure, no problem. Okay. I'll wait. I, right I now. have things like you Right have. now's the yeah. time. Oh, wait. I, like I don't know. Like the big ones. Let's see. Are you done? Yep. Yes. You don't have a main... Nope. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. Okay. One. One. Oh. Oh, the <laughs> All right. I'm going to play this right away because it costs nothing and yeah. it's gain two. Oh, nice. Yeah. So one, two. So now oh, I'm up to three. I like it. Which is very it's getting helpful. getting paid in, in, the, <laughs> in combat points. It's very helpful. It is. Then I will do... Did you draw a card too? Cute. I did. That okay. was the card I drew. Oh, wow. There you go. Do I want to do that? Do everything you can. Now's yeah. the time. But none of it... Is okay. Yeah. I will spend two to, to draw three cards. Oh heck yeah! <laughs> could be more money and more CP. Who knows? Right. Right. You can spend them too. Right? And they're two, like, they're more. You three. could just discard them for CP. Right. Ooh, Ooh. Oh, no. I don't like that. No, I'm just joking around. Ah, it's interesting. Yeah. It's I can't. Look at that. This one. I will it's, get rid of yeah. this for Loki Cold Medina. <laughs> one. I will. <laughs> it's it's not really. No, it doesn't see. I mean, it's a yeah. funny. It's a good name, one, but, but it's not going to yeah, help it's now. Not help now. Okay, I'll do that and get a, another one. I will throw away another one. So I just have four. Wow. And I know. then I'm going to just. Minus two and put down my confuddle. Two or whatever. Number two, which gives me two little separate nice. deals. Liar's so gifts. one, two, then I roll. And then we roll. And then I roll. Eek. Well, that's, that's the one. Vilify, isn't it in there? It is. Yeah, vilify. Vilify is not bad. Let's see if another opponent has more health. Which they do. Which they do. It's eight, but it's blockable. Or I can try to do this, which is distribute up to, that's no good for the end of the game. No, and what is, what's this the This is eight, of and this is eight. Two, two, inflicts two, inflict one. Then try that a couple times. That's you, an you eight. You can roll one more white symbol with those two dice. Vilify is better, because I can also oh, get it? an illusion. Oh, yeah. So she can use your illusion. So that is this and this and all of these, yes. Yeah, then do it. And Vilify. you already have it. You don't have to roll. Exactly. So yeah. I give an illusion. You have to determine the target. Inflict. Stay on target. I'm going to pull that <laughs> out. And I also get that. And then eight damage to whoever. Stay on target. That's a two. Lincoln. 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 Okay. So you get this. OK. You put it where you want. Oh, he already, oh, he's already that's got that. That's got to be gone. No, 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 we just did that one. It was because you defended against his attack. What is the? What else can be boosted by electrokinesis, Lincoln? Just Odin Force, which then, is great. Yeah, I think. Do that one, the one below. Okay, Odin Force. Yeah, he's got too much electrokinesis. Okay, that's it. So he has to defend against eight he, damage. He has to defend against eight, but of course I might as well use the illusion. No, no, that's for your incoming damage. All right. It doesn't affect his. Whoa. Hey, so we we lose two oh, less less than two, but I also throw Mjolnir. Bang me on the head. Does she take damage so or she just gets it? She's gonna get one undefendable it's damage. Un, that's an undefendable. And then uh, you were throwing eight, Nikki. Yeah. It was eight. So we take six. Six, Lincoln. yeah. Okay, and now we're on to my second main phase, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I don't want to do that. No, I'd hold that. I'd thing. hold it. So I'm done. Okay. Dave's turn, right? I have no upkeep phase. Yeah. Oh wait, that's not, you just gave it. Yeah, it's still there. It's still there. No, that's the no, other no. one. 
That was from his attack. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this attack. is your turn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So I, I get just dealt damage. So I thought it was my turn. Yeah. I get one of these. I get one of these. Ooh, what is this? Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, boo. Need more CPs? No, if I had invisibility, this would be nice. <laughs> invisibility. Um, I am... I'm going to just throw that away for another CP. Because why not? And now I'm going to roll. First we roll. What do I need? Nine? Yeah. I have nothing that does nine. Roll five sixes. Well, that's not true. Five sixes. That's yeah. Good. good luck. That ain't there okay. is none of them. One, two, three, four. Uh, you, almost got, you almost got wall crawler. No, I'm going to try for the large straight this time. Mm. Right, one, two, three, four. Three, five. Oh. Wee! Large straight. Oh, you draw a card. I draw a card. I deal eight damage. And then I finally get to inflict webbed on somebody. So that damage is going to Nikki. Yay! That's good. What do I do? Uh, you have eight damage. And when that's done, I will inflict web status on you. Hmm. So you give me one of those tokens? Not what? until this is all dealt. Okay. So right. anything you want to do to... I don't have ladder. anything for that. Use the illusion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Might as well. Illusion. Use your, use your illusion. Use You're not use saying it right. Use your illusion. It's a grand illusion. And then when he, she has the other one, we get oh, to say, use your illusion one. too. I mean, come on, man. Boom! So oh, sad. come on! Yes! <laughs> I block nothing. You stink at illusion. The attacker <laughs> gains a bat. And Loki, I may spend another illusion, but I don't have one. Uh, okay, so take eight. They're small. Sure. We're down to one? Yeah. And then... That's terrible. Webbed. Yeah. This goes on you. Ow. I'm going to put it right on my face. So I have a hammer hit in my head and so, webs on my face. Uh, the next incoming attack that you have is undefendable. Wow. What? Wow. I don't like you. No. <laughs> well, like we're not going to lose We also we're actually lose anyway. We actually also have to tar somehow target her. That's I mean, right. You yeah. the, the random target could go to me. Right. <laughs> in subsequent turns, when a player afflicted with this token is attacked with normal damage, that becomes this is why I didn't instead, want you to spend your card. Then. And the, token the card was removed. Was, had nothing. Okay. To do. okay. But I just meant it. No, I know. It was just Does, bad because I mean, I at least I have some what, fake uh, cards that you can pretend to use. No, no. But my point is, at least you have something that maybe on your next thing. But you just made it a one anyway, so it's still there. It didn't matter. I'm going to discard um, two cards and take okay. two combo points because they're small. Because just in case. Now is this something that comes off? After the yeah, uh, after your next offensive turn. No, probably, or whatever. Well, no, only when you retrieve it. After, think, right? after you no, use no, no. it, it'll probably you, your tell you. Web, your web. Oh, the web only when it gets used. It stays yeah. there until it gets used. Which will be her next offensive turn. Correct. Or your, defensive turn. Your next turn. attack. Yeah. 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 Offensive. She's okay. not going to Wait a minute. Your next normal attack. Okay. The next time we attack her. No, it's next a normal Next time she receives attack. normal damage. If you hit her with undefensible damage, it stays there. Right. Right. Or we don't have it so far in this game, but if you were to take collateral damage, something mm. that we haven't seen show up yet, yeah. that would also stay there. Okay. All right, Aaron. All right, are you done? Yep. Am I ever? I'm taking a CP and a single card. <laughs> hey, it's pretty good, actually. All right. I'm rolling. I have no, no, no cards to play. I'm rolling five sixes. Be pretty yeah, there's cool. one. Ooh. There's uh, lots of threes. So let's see. We really need to get this or okay. else we're going to die. So now. the only thing I can do is try for the sixes. Remember I have a card I can help you What out. does it do? It, um, you oh, are, okay. okay but I mean, we might as well try. That's why I saved this. Yeah. Okay. And so it, it costs one. It. Mine doesn't help there. If, if it helps. This only oh, helps even numbers, unfortunately. my. All right, I guess I'll try and roll a few more sixes. If you get them all, would you win? N Not with the naked 12 damage that this does. Right, the but with modifiers and stuff, just do it. Don't tell me anymore, no. just do it. There's no more. Oh. Great. But 
That exactly without the six is a jinx roll. Oh, jinx. You want me to what does that Which do? does six damage and then roll two dice. Gain one probability manipulation for each four you roll. Holy moly. And for on a five, inflict reality warp. For each six, add a damage and then roll the die again. Neat. Ooh. So it can Good do stack. a lot of different things. Up. Yeah. yeah. Nothing gets health, unfortunately, right? No, right. Yeah. Nothing heals us up yeah. to 20. Or even just a few. I know. Well, I mean, we need more than a couple. Yeah. It'd be cool if I could have a bag of tricks on myself. Then I... Then I yeah, we need anything. But, but then I have to roll the right number. and then Really, our only hope is there's death. about a 50%. No, they, they target me. Yeah. Even that's not going to help. If you can Whatever. block it. He might zone and get nothing. Yeah, yeah. that's true. I, I doubt it. All right. Uh, let's see. I'll look take at all, the jinx. Look at all the things that are blocked on his board. Blocked, blocked. I mean, yeah. I'm trying. Anyway. Block, 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 block. I take the jinx. Thing. I roll two dice. I add. Oh, I add two damage for each warp I show. Right. Okay. So these add two damage. These add probability manipulation. Every symbol has an effect. You're rolling how many dice? Two. Okay. Good luck. I rolled. A two and a three. I can affect the two with probability manipulation, but it won't change it. What does your thing do? Changes the <laughs> die. Okay. You choose a, a teammate, re-roll up to uh, two dice. I think it we should do it. It's our only same, chance. It can be Let's re -roll these the dice. same dice. Okay, so I'm going to use that. Okay. It's try, try again. Yep. <laughs> it costs one, so we're... So we're re-rolling the jinx dice. Nice. It may do more. Come on, sixes. It's... The exact same symbols. Sweet. Doubles. It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Okay. All right. So it is 10 normal incoming damage. Okay. And I will use this crackle to make it 11. That is the best I can do. Target. Target die. Target damn. Target is... Me. Spider-Man. 11. Here I go. I am using my spider sense. Mm. Should I just counter punch and end it? Is that what you're saying? Do you oh, have right. You can do a single damage. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Counter punch. Hey, take three. They're small. We'll take 11. Three? Yeah. And we take three? Yeah. yeah. Un unblockable. Undefensible. Burr, 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 burr. Do they have I minus symbols on them? No. <laughs> Does it help if I make you reroll one of those? No. <laughs> All, right. All right. And that's Marvel Dice Throw. I mean, honestly, as close as it didn't seem at the end, it still was six to zero. Yeah. Like, it yeah. wasn't, but yeah. It does seem, I mean, all right, how'd you guys enjoy Marvel Dice Throne? It was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I, I will start with Nikki, actually. Yeah. What? I had fun. This yeah. was fun. Uh, Lincoln and I had played it just two player, and that was that was good too, but I, this is fun with the Z uh, yeah, yeah. thing, yeah, yeah. and yep. um, the interaction well, I thought was the, cool. Plus the not knowing where you're going to be able to target, right? Mm -hmm. Like is actually really awesome. I agree. I thought that might be kind of annoying, but, I, but there's, it wasn't. there's something kind of nice because it could save you. I also on thought the defensive it was side. a little weird that that die roll, the targeting die roll was modifiable, but that could be super strategic because right. I have so many different things that change die rolls and if I would had thought about that, maybe I should have changed the die roll to, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. not take damage and attack Lincoln instead. Although yeah. he has yeah. Mjolnir too that sometimes but, sends damage back to you. Uh, even uh, the interaction of not just of you attacking me and all that kind of stuff, but me knowing my my special character things mm -hmm. and making sure that uh, you're uncovering them when they're gone, when their time is up, and that sort of interaction mm -hmm. was kind of fun too. If you're playing nicely and not like I'm just gonna wait and see if he even notices that he can take those <laughs> illusions off of him or right. whatever, right. which I could imagine people doing. Right. Um, but that kind of interaction was sort of neat too. Um, everybody knowing their their special uh, 
abilities, which are more complicated than a lot of games that we play. Um, usually you have maybe one or two special abilities and everybody kind of knows what it is you have. Um, so I just, I really liked it. I thought it was fun. What was nice was that the board looks like you have all these options, but really after your first roll, you kind of sort of know what you're going for, right? Mm -hmm. Based on whatever your first roll is. And what's nice is that the punch, I mean, this ability that we all have, right? Right. right. Yeah. Like that, all, and that's the most common thing you have. Yes. Like that always gives you something. That's your basic. It might not be like the most exciting thing. Even even unupgraded, it still gives me something. Yeah. Right. right. So that's kind of nice. So the, the odds of you sort of zonking. Um, I could see on a two player game where you'd get a lot of turns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? It was fun being a partnership thing. I had one card that could have helped you, but it never came right, up. Right. Right. But, but, there wasn't, there wasn't too much partnership -y thing happening. I mean, I don't know what the rules are in the game, but when you and Nikki were doing it at the end, I thought that actually might be more fun if, to just kind of look at each if, other's. If cards. Lincoln and I know what our hands are, each other's hands are. Although that could slow things I down. I don't too. remember it being actually addressed in the game, but it's probably yeah. you're probably not supposed to blandly look at your <laughs> partner's cards. I don't know that I mind that though. No, it was obviously just for the finish of the game, but uh, I, mean, what I think that would have made more. Yeah, it would have slowed down the game, and yeah. and there are those some of those cooperative games where they're like you can allude to what's in right. your hand, but it's, you can't it's essentially specifically. The same thing as saying, yeah, should I have them re-roll some dice? Should yeah. can I should I yeah. heal some damage? One I of the things this. this is completely not off track, but <laughs> one of the things I love about Ticket to Ride Asia as a partnership game, wow, is yes. that <laughs> is that you have a common rack, interesting for both track. teams, and the cards just go in there. Okay. And right. you can't communicate, but okay. you have access to everything. And so there's this nice little bit of like, is he going to steal that card? Does he know I want to save that card? But I <laughs> liked, but my point is this. I, I, would, I don't know how many there are. It would be neat to see more partner. This could be an interesting partnership game where there are common cards on a common rack. Now, granted, these cards are character specific. Yeah. So they don't work. But, um, but you know, cards like... Some of them are. Yeah. Cards like Double Up, right? Which is spend a CP and draw two. Like the idea of what, yeah, see? I had that the whole game. Right. I was what, if, what, if, what if these cards were common in the middle and we could use them at any time? Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, I'm always trying to figure out, especially for games that feel like the partnership aspect is something that was important for them to figure out because you don't want to not have the four player version of this. And, and this works, but I could see where most people are probably playing this two-player. Sure. Yeah. Or maybe three-player, and it's an actual fight, fight, fight. Well, I was I was really angling to try to do the chain lightning. Yeah. Because this would allow me to make two sixes. Mm. And I'm yes. very likely to roll these. And what's cool about that is oh, yeah. you roll three dice and you add them up, right? The, t the highest values. This is not very good. It would have been six points. But then additionally, two undefensible damage as an isolated source of collateral damage to a chosen appointment. Oh, there's opponent. collateral So damage. it's like, it would it would be cool to like, m sort of make those happen. I I needed to do this though. Like, I really, this is like the one card I spent. Everything else was going on the board. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it was the one time to reduce that, that damage so that it would be one point of damage, which was to me Oh, important. that was huge. Yeah. I mean, it might have actually gotten yeah. me the oh, game. Yeah, exactly. We would have lost if we hadn't done it, right? Or I guess not because this, these were simultaneous. Did, well, did almost every single one of us going for the large straight, which was not open ended, get it anyway? I yeah. think maybe once that didn't happen. Yeah. There was a lot of crazy luck. I do. I, lo I love that though. Yeah. I love that that die is. I mean, this is one of the cool things about this game is that there are two yes. things on each die. So you could do yeah. other things with it, you yeah. know? And that was kind of exciting. So when you gave us that die, it actually. Then I'm like shooting for a straight. It, sure, it made you yeah. think about the numbers yeah. a lot more than the symbols for yeah. it usually. Yeah. What do you think, Aaron? I thought I think I enjoyed it quite a bit, and it's a lot more straightforward and simple than it actually seems at first <laughs> yes. glance. Yeah, I will say, like we read a lot of rules for this show, obviously to learn new games, but this game was sort of hard to parse from the rule book. Mm -hmm. There does it does the rule book does not tell you a lot about the characters at all. So you well, don't really you about know other characters it tells that are, even that are in, in like game. other versions yeah. of the well, non-base yeah, yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah. So w until you sit down at the table and get out your character and look at all their abilities, right. you don't know anything except how the phases work and how you know dice targeting works. So I didn't really know what to expect until I got into the details of status effects and everything. So it was sort of 
easier, faster, and simpler than I expected, right. honestly, mm -hmm. from the rule book. The mm -hmm. rule book does not give you a great sum summation of exactly how the game is going to feel. Right. And some rule books do. You read the rule book and you go, oh, I got it exactly. I know exactly how this game is going to play and feel and come to the table. Right. But this one surprised me, actually, just because the rule book was sort of a little hard to wrap my head around. Right. And I think it's a lot easier to just kind of lay it out and show your friends all the stuff. Well, because it tells you a lot. On the board, right? Oh, yeah. It really There's does tell you yeah. quite a bit. So you don't have, and, and this turn order thing's hu huge, right? That's mm -hmm. the biggest kind of, oh, yeah. I think for me initially was the confusion about how this all played out. This is nothing, a very well designed turn order. Nothing like a really good little informational sheet. Like, this yeah. is fantastic. I say that all the time, and this is a really good one. Yep. yep. The color coding, it's exactly what you need to know. Yep. And this looks like yeah. a lot of information. But it's not really. Like you right. said, yeah, you you're, look at know, it, you're targeting where you're going based you on got, that first You've got your dice abilities. You don't right. you don't have to memorize right. them all. You know, it's it's a much simpler game than it could appear also, just by walking the through by the table. I like that the game it. sort of tapers down. I mean, the game actually sort of accelerates near the end because you are mostly out of cards by then. Yeah. Right? I mean, Nikki eventually Nikki had a lot of cards. Because though. she got the draw two and she got some but stuff. But she just, you know, she yeah. burned them to get to the important ones. Right. right. Did. There's no value in holding six cards forever. But even Lincoln and I only had, I only had one or two cards left at the end. And, um, and I, I think that's kind of neat. And also, yeah. you know, uh, you can, you can just change this to 40 or 60 or I 70 mean, if you want a longer or a shorter game. I mean, we did three complete rounds around the table, I think, which in a two-player game would have been six turns each. You still start with 50 on the dial for, for two players. Oh, really? For head-to-head. -head. So, you know, yeah. it's still a pretty brief game either way. It's mm -hmm. essentially the same time. That's smart. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it was the game we, we played here and now uh, or not, but in the two-player, Lincoln got to uh, his crazy... Um, Hits a here? lot quicker. Oh, Not no, that no, one. The, 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 the that, one with the electrolytes. Or yeah. <laughs> Electrokinesis. Yeah. Um, and I think this he, just he end hit. Odin Force ended up happening a lot. Yeah. No, no that wasn't it. It's. Uh, yeah. It, no. Yeah, one damage. I somehow got Odin Force because yeah. these are not easy to get. It's fours and fives, yeah. right? Right. Threes. Right. So I don't know if that was the nature of the two player or or just the game that we played, um, but he was able to fire that and that that's a pretty massive thing so I don't know I kind of want to see what two player again if you can manage to trigger that more often than in a four player game I, right you know it's interesting the the lowest on my board anyway right I think on everyone's board maybe the lowest damage you can do is basically four I think that's the, the starter one for here's one where you roll two dice and deal one. damage so I could in theory roll double ones on that but four for you but yeah but I mean we never did. I mean, almost all damage was what six. I mean, six five. to nine most yeah. of the time. Yeah. And you had that fifteen, and well, that's because I spent all my tokens that I'd been. I saving understand, up, but, but yeah, my yeah. my point is that it makes sense that you want to start at fifty because yeah. you 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 do more damage. I, 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 we were doing more damage than I thought we were going to do when we mm. first started. Right. I'm like, wow, that's Agreed. a lot of damage mm -hmm. every turn. You know? I didn't notice, but all of you, your first three is four damage on that card, but for yeah. me it's six. Wow. I go six, seven, eight. If you if you had just done one illusion correctly, we would have won. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's our draw. That, was, that was a very lucky draw I mean, twice. One that out of three insane. blocked zero damage both times. I mean, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, if I had drawn failed, you got no damage, right? And, yes. and partial is half damage both yeah. times. We took yeah. full damage every time. And I, an illusion. I, I think mean, that was. I think uh, this is sort of an odd matchup. I mean, we're playing what's in the basic box. Right. But we both chose. Our, our team Lincoln. has no damage mitigation. Yeah. Only, uh, well, except for this, which is some. But right. our defense abilities don't block any damage at all. In a weird way, though, yeah. this defensive ability might be. Better than mine. It, might, it is. I mean, I would tell you now. But it's a one-third chance of zero. Mine only... Well, like, mine, like all Loki things, it's very unpredictable. Yeah. <laughs> like, it could be super great or do nothing at all. Well, it's partial, too. I mean, yeah. you got 66% per cha 66 yeah. chance of, like... I know. Like, but uh, how did it work out for I know, us? I know, I know. Mine guys, only Spider prevents Spider-Man cheats, because I got the Spidey sense. I know. Mine Sorry. only no. prevents two damage per uh, worthy that shows up, right? So it's really not a yeah. lot. Because of the targeting, it would have probably been better that... I mean, Dave seemed to roll lucky on some I of that really stuff. I really did. I think 
we probably say this about most every Marvel game that we play, but I'm constantly impressed by how they can evoke the flavor of each individual Absolutely. character in yeah. just you know a few abilities, a few cards, yeah. Yeah. a few different die roll and things. Yeah. And like so, they like really I mean, each of that. these characters played. We only took three turns each, and they all felt like their individual hero. You know, I think that's really an impressive what, game design. What feat. does your upgrade? Uh, Shield. Defense. Oh, Defense. I don't know. That's Do. a good question. Oh, hey, I never. Even... Mine was. Uh, it. It. Uh, uh, the nice thing is on mine is on two hammers you get to throw a retrieve Mjolnir, but for mm. every two, you get to throw a retrieve, and that's a uh, four dice. You get four. But dice. everything else is about the same. Mine um, basically generates more of these tokens, and mm. I can use a probability to alter the die roll of the defense. So it basically is just a more powerful version of what it already is. Mm. It's funny though, because it's rarely, like, blocking, st Nikki blocked, I mean, that's the thing that Loki can do, blocked a lot of my huh. powers yeah. when we played two player. And she blocked a lot here You don't have upgraded defenses? I have it's no green. upgraded. I have, Interesting. Nope, I he, have no green. He, he does mm. not I have no upgraded green defenses. Wow, cool. The only thing well, mine does. But yours does. are both pretty good already. Right. Yeah. That one does damage unblockable and one halves the damage if right. you roll a six. Yeah. The only one mine does is increase uh, to two, two oh, die. Oh, she gets two dice instead of one. Everything else is the same. That's pretty good. But Are you sure it's Yeah, no, yeah. she's right. It's exactly yeah. the same. But it can generate illusion. It can generate yeah, cards. Sure. It can generate bag of tricks. Like, yeah. they're all good. Yep. I mean, Loki's kind of a wimp. Right? He is. Yeah. I mean, yeah. thematically. No, it's. You know, I, I, love, I love that they have that. They're all really cool. But yeah, I don't think Thor is actually that great at defending uh, blocking damage either, though. Uh, this would be a little more interesting, but it's still only four dice. So the most I can do is eight? throw and retrieve. Eight. Correct, if I got lucky. but uh, Or use cards. Yeah. Well, that would have been great if I... If you had my card that could change two dice, for example. Well, I mean, I had I had those. Yeah. Same Z's and, and six. You know. I had both of those in my hand. Yeah. I, I know. I saw Set it. myself like, up for the shockwave. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It's like it's but no. But yeah, I would love to actually... These are fun. You know, for Asgard, um, Venom Shockwave. Interesting. And to top it off, the art's really good. I love this characterization of... Of Loki here is really cool, and yeah. these are hilarious too. Getting <laughs> hit in the face with <laughs> hammer. This is hammer. Manny. Let me Trem look. I never saw the other Manny two. Tre <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Manny Tremblay did the art. He did another game we played recently, which was Wonderland's War. He's That's really huge. talented. Yeah. yeah, I like. It's I like a little more anime cartoony than the Marvel yeah. stuff usually is, but I really. It's like interesting the style. that yeah. Marvel lets. P publishers do this. Go so wide and varied with their art yeah. style. So we, yeah. we visited um, uh, Gamegenic, their offices, and one of the ladies, the, their art director is their art illustrator, and she does all the Marvel stuff. Oh, wow. She oh. illustrates it, and obviously everything has to be approved by Marvel, but yeah. it's still pretty neat that they let them do that be, instead of just using the movie art or the comic yeah, art. You yeah. Know? yeah. I, I like that a lot. I think it, ma it makes it more interesting and it gives each game its own character, mm -hmm. which is really, really awesome. I mean, you saw the ones when we played um, Marvel Champions, all sure, the, you know, yeah. the play mats and stuff. They did all that stuff in house. Uh, it's pretty impressive. Well, and then and then all the dice, yeah, right? Each die, is, each die has its own thing. Each player thing. has its own thing going on there, too. I was actually excited to see the red ones there. I was like, yeah, oh. Yeah, those are yeah. pretty. <laughs> and so uh, we should mention maybe that these are the four heroes that come in the regular yeah. base set, and they sell two. not actually expansions, They are but actually a, a two-player game. Two-player games that yeah. come with new heroes. So they have Captain Marvel... Doctor Strange, Black Widow, Black Widow, Black Panther, and, Black and, Panther. Yeah, Doctor yeah. Strange and Black Widow are in one box. Captain Marvel and Black Panther are mm. in the other box. Yep. So yeah, it's really cool, and it can play more players when you do that. Up to five. Up to six. Oh really? Oh, yeah. you could play Is six. Is that still a partnership game? I don't. It's not in the basic game rules. So oh. you got me, Dave. Buy <laughs> buy one and let me know. <laughs> okay. Interesting. I wonder if that would be three versus three. I just or two, I know it two, says two. two to six on the box. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Well, yeah. Cool. Thanks for teaching us, Aaron. Thanks for playing and whipping our butts. All right. <laughs> and thanks to you for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to our channel. If you click on the bell, you'll get notified when we put up new videos. See you next time.